Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us today on the representative and mobile app webinar. Today, we are going to walk through exactly how to accept your invite once you've been invited to Breezeway and how to set up your profile and how to navigate the mobile app. So after you've been invited by the company that you're working with that uses Breezeway, the first thing you want to do is go to your email, accept the invitation, and then once you click the accept invite button, you will be prompted with setting up your account. You'll fill in all your account information and click the create account button at the bottom here. Once you're signed in and you have your account all set up, um, you'll use the login information that you just created to then access the Breezeway mobile app. It will be the same login information you use as you're setting up here to use the mobile app. So once you've gone to the app store or the Google Play store, you could download the Breezeway mobile app and look for the property care app. And that will be the best way to get notified about new tasks that have been assigned to you, as well as you know, to be able to complete your assigned work. Um, just switching gears and switching over to the mobile app to get a view of that here. So when you've opened the Breezeway app, the first thing you'll see is a menu of items here at the top where you can choose to see your exact schedule, whether that's from today, viewing all your tasks that are assigned for you for today, looking ahead for tomorrow. If I'd like to see the whole week, I have an option for that as well, as well as the all category, which will show me all of the tasks that are assigned to me by my, my, the company I'm working for. Um, we've pre-ordered the tasks that have been assigned to you with our sort of suggested filter here at the top. Um, but you can absolutely change and sort by whichever sort of setting here makes the most sense for you. So whether that's address, um, we can actually choose a certain priority level. So if your company that you're working with has given you some high priority or some urgent priority tasks, we can have those appear first. You can choose property name, uh, specific start time. So the earliest start time, maybe towards the top, um, but also our suggested one is available as well. I can use the menu left of the tasks button here to actually open this up. And if I'm looking at tasks, first of all, is available here. Um, right below that, I have the offers that are given to me by uh, the company I work with and the history tab, which will show me all of the work that I've already completed. If I need to check back or look at my records of, of tasks that I've already completed, the history tab is available here as well. To set up your profile, you'll click on your name on the bottom left-hand corner here, and you'll be presented, presented with your profile at the top here, uh, some of your notification settings, and the support tab, which will open up a support menu to chat with the team here at Breezeway. Um, profile, so if I click on this, this is where I'll change contact information, phone number, password, things like that. Uh, notifications, which will show me all the different notifications that I can set in the Breezeway app. Um, task assignment, so what a task gets assigned to me, how would I like to be notified, um, when somebody comments on one of my tasks, so commenting is our sort of internal communication tool, so if a supervisor for the company I work with um, has a comment for me while I'm at a property, they can comment on my task and I'll get that notification. And then of course I have the daily digest, which is just an additional reminder notification we send one day prior. So this is a, an additional reminder letting you know about the work, all, all that's all scheduled for tomorrow. Once that's all set, you can go back to the main menu here. I'm looking at my tasks for today. Um, I also have a filter here in the top right hand corner where I can actually use to select different tasks for different departments. If I'd like to you know, perform my maintenance tasks first, um, I can filter my tasks by looking for specific reservation events. So maybe the ones that are checking out or back-to-backs or, or higher priority for me. Um, but of course, we also have the priority menu here at the bottom. So if you're, the company you're working with assigns you a task and they give it a urgent or high priority, you can absolutely filter for those and have those appear near the top. As I'm going through my work here, let's say I'm gonna start on this task here, this clean at catch of the day. Um, I see a couple quick tidbits of information that are important. So firstly, the due date, which is due on April 14th. Um, I can see estimated how long this task should take me. Um, I can see the name of the property, quick address here, and the type of clean. 
Um, I can also see that there's a checkout happening today at 10 a.m. and it looks like it was given medium priority. If I tap on the task here, I can see some of the reservation information, first of all. So today there's a checkout, 10 a.m., and the next check-in's happening uh, two days from now at 4 p.m. If I'd like to just jump right into my task, I click on the Start Task button here at the bottom. If I have any questions or comments for my, my team, I can use the comments bubble here and write a message quickly saying, Let's say I have a question about how to get into the property. So then this message will go straight to my team here. And then they can comment back on my task and I will see that back and forth uh, messaging interaction. Um, the next thing I wanna point out, so let's say I go into start task here. This is what will take me straight into my checklist where I can then begin checking off all the work that I'm doing. As I'm going through here, you know, let's say I'm going through the property um, and I'm checking things off as I go, but I find things are something's damaged or something's not working right, I can quickly use this wrench icon at the bottom corner here to report an issue at the property. Doing so will open up the issues, sort of open maintenance issues list. So this will show some of the previous uh, maintenance issues which were reported at the property, um, but it looks like I have a new issue to report, so I'll do that. We will pre-select maintenance because we found that most issues that are reported tend to fall to the maintenance department, but this can absolutely be changed by tapping on the menu and changing this to the proper department if needed. Otherwise, I can write in a title for my, my issue here. Broken table leg in kitchen. And then once I have that filled out, I have the option of adding a photo here as well. So I'm just gonna add a photo of a table leg right here. Take a photo of that. And now I can click report issue. And this will send a task and a notification to the company I'm working with so that they can then schedule out this broken table leg task to the proper individual. Um, they will also be able to access the photo that I've taken as well so that whoever gets assigned that work might have a better idea of what tools or what materials they might need to bring as they fix that broken issue here. A couple other quick things here as I'm going through the checklist, um, you'll see that we do have a collapse button available here. So if I press the collapse button, that will actually collapse all the rooms and on my checklist here so that I can quickly navigate from one to another and determine if I've missed doing any of my steps here. So, you know, if I've gone to the kitchen and I've done instead of four of 14, if I did 13 of 14, I can quickly go back and address that one I missed here. So make good use of the collapse feature we have available as well. Let's say I'm going to the property here and you know I'm on my way, I don't know where the property is, I have a map button here available as well where I can tap on this, it'll open up the maps program on my phone here. If I wanna supplement my task here with any sort of additional photos, I have an option for that as well. Um, if I'd like to see exactly, you know, some of those reported issues, this will open up that same menu we just looked at. Um, reservation notes are available as well, so I can see some of that detailed reservation information. If there's any sort of supplies that need to get added to this clean that I'm doing. So, you know, as I'm going through the property, I can add supplies to my task here and say, you know, I had to reload a, you know, appliance bulb and new dishwasher detergent here. I can load those in as part of my task here. And now my team will be able to reference this supplies list later on. You can also see the task rate available here, um, as well as filling in any sort of supplemental costs that you might incur as you're doing this task. And then of course we have a summary tab where you can summarize how the clean went. So that's about it for the mobile app today. Uh, just wanna thank everyone for joining us. And you know, if you have any questions as you're going through and using the app, um, we looked at the support menu, which is available in the top left here. Just tap on that. I'll tap on my name and this will open up uh, the menu here to open up a chat with the support team. Um, so the best way to reach us is through the support chat here. You can also email us by emailing support 
at breezeway.io. Just want to thank you all for joining us again today and looking forward to seeing everyone use the Breezeway app. So thanks again. Have a good one.